Thanks. So, um, yeah, so this piece is mine. It's called Hanging Gardens. It's a pigment print on awagame in bay thin paper. Uh, it, I live in Northeast Ohio near Cleveland, and the image is from uh, the Cleveland Botanical Garden, which is a place where I spend a lot of time. I take a lot of photographs and make a lot of drawings there. And what interests me about botanical gardens, well, there's a, a few different things that interest me about botanical gardens. Um, that They're very specific places, but they're also sort of no place at all. Um, they're very dislocated landscapes, and that's something that is really interesting to me, that I can go to Cleveland and I can experience a tropical landscape. I can go from, you know, there being a foot of snow to going inside and, and being in a completely different kind of space. And I'm interested in that kind of dislocation that happens. Um, and so in this piece, I, I, I made the image um, and, I'm, and I digitally manipulated it and blurred it. Um, I'm interested in this process of blurring uh, because it kind of um, it makes it indistinguishable between foreground and background. Uh, when you're in a place like a botanical garden, you know, you're supposed to experience the leaves and the beautiful flowers and the plants and you're not supposed to pay attention to the, oh, this huge structure, this huge system that's holding all of that stuff up. I'm really interested in flattening that space through this process of blurring so it all kind of becomes one plane. Um, and then when I was making the piece, I really just kind of wanted to disrupt that pictorial plane by cutting into it to disrupt that illusion. Again, just like how the, the blurring kind of disrupts the illusion um, and make you realize that it's an image and that it's a material. Uh, and I was just also, I love this type of paper. I think it's really, really beautiful. It's really, even though it's very strong, it's or even though it's very thin, it's very strong. And so I really wanted to kind of push and see what it could do, um, you know, and still keep a general shape, but how much could I cut into it or sort of break it down um, and have it still hold its shape in this general kind of banner. So the original piece is um, multi-parts um, and it kind of breaks a space in half and you're meant to walk all the way around it. I think, um, they did a beautiful job installing it um, with just this one banner here, so thank you so much for that. Um, but yeah, I was really interested in cutting into it and having the plants and the shapes kind of get pushed back or pushed forward and um, start to become sculptural or start to talk about space or start to talk about the materiality of the paper. Thanks. Okay.